We've got another question from Stephen Carpenter. And I, I'm going to hold your feet to the fire here because I know that the Steelers always draft well at receiver. But Stephen asks, who are a couple receivers and tight ends that Ike hated to go up against where their footwork and route running gave you headaches or a physical guy who made it hard to go up and contest catches? Thanks, guys. Love the show. Uh, not, I, I wouldn't say hey, It was always – I love challenges, but that young man, uh, Martavis Bryant, that we had, um, you want to talk about six, three and a half, two ten, two fifteen, who can run uh, uh, vertically, but also as well, Mark. The boy had wiggle like he was a little man, and he can definitely jump out the gym. That was Tate. You want to talk about one of the most physical receivers? That was Heinz Ward. Um, you didn't want to piss him off. You didn't want to wake him up because he just had that running back slash quarterback mentality. You get the ball in my hands, I'm going to make a play, I'm going to run your ass over. That was Hines. You want to talk about pound for pound, probably one of the best breaking out a tackle or just run a slant and taking it to the house, that was Antonio Holmes. You want to talk about uh, by far, who, which he probably go, he'd just be doing some off-the-wall stuff off the field. That's Antonio Brown. Antonio Brown for a six-year span. Well, nobody in the league uh, doing what he did. So I was very fortunate enough to go against receivers like that, all different kind of receivers as well. But, you know, I played against the Randy Mosses, the, Smith, the Steve Smith Juniors. I played at, uh, the Chad Ochos, like RIP to Chris Henry's. Like I played against some 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 Hall of, Terrell Owens. I played against some Hall of Fame receivers, the late Jerry Rice when he was on the back end, when he was with the Raiders. So I had my fair share um, of, of receivers, Mark, and all of them brought something different to the table so I wouldn't say uh even 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 Aaron Hernandez um probably probably was the most trouble probably ain't gonna say probably was the most trouble you know if Aaron Hernandez would have kept his head straight ain't no telling where he, he was going yeah. directly to the Hall of Fame as soon as he hung his cleats up that's how special he was so I played against him Antonio Gates was a dog Tony Gonzalez was a dog so I played, I played against, even when we had Heath Miller sitting on, a, on our sideline and training camp was a damn dog. So that's, that's just what it was, man. In my era, I just played against some, some receivers who just pretty much brought everything different to the table and tight ends. You know, back in the day, you know, our tight ends, they had to block, whether you, regardless of what team you was on, whether you was blocking or you receiving. I think Tony, Tony Gonzalez probably, probably would have been the first flex receiver when it came down to it, he did it for a long time. Antonio Gates only played, you know, tight end for one year. He played basketball, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's just show you, you know, the athleticism of guys I played when I played in the NFL. When you were game planning, were those players where it's like know where they're at on the field in advance of the game? Yeah. Uh, every, I mean, the guys I'm, the guys I just named were yeah. Hall of Fame guys. So if you ain't know what a Hall of Famer was, you just looking for it. A yep. recipe of of distraction to to get burnt, you know what I'm saying? So you had to know where those guys I just named were where, where they was at all the time. Yeah, Ike, you're in my brain a little bit there, which is a dangerous place to be. But we always talk about the criteria for Hall of Fame players, and you always tell me, well, it's like, well, did we game plan for that specific player or not? And obviously, you're going to know that having spent 12 years in the league.